So, are you known as Kai's dad yet? Uh, not yet, but <laughs> we're hoping to get Th there. <laughs> it's coming, you know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, get, give it to me. How do we know each other? So, we're both Golden Flashes. I was obviously played football at Kent State while you were wrestling. Um, so, the Golden Flash connection, I guess. It seems you, to be a common theme around here. Yeah, Jared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nine, are you 99 grad of high school? 2000. 2000. So you're, you're like two years younger than me, but I remember you like the whole time. Yeah. Outside linebacker. Outside linebacker, yes, sir. And you went to the Grove Port Madison. The Grove Port Madison, yes, sir. As you see, I got it on my chest here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you play four or five years there? Four. Four? Yep. Did you never redshirt it? Nope. nope. And then you wrestled at Grove Port. Yeah, I wrestled at Grove Port. Did you stay yeah. placer? Uh, never placed. Went Qualifier. three times. Yeah, went three times. Uh, ranked number two. Uh, just... Never finished the way I wanted to, I guess. 215 or 289? 189. You're 89, 89, yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. I actually wrestled a guy a lot, uh, Ben Rings. He was another Golden Flash. Rings? Yeah, he was a Marysville guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know he was the National Teacher of the Year? That's what I heard. He Great was. Dude. He's Great in guy. Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, good guy. Yeah. Um, okay. So talk about OAC. Your son's an OAC champ. Yep. As a six-year-old? Six yep. Is that, he was seven, yeah. Seven. He was seven, so yeah. he won the 50? 50, 50, he won 55, yeah. 55, okay. Yeah. So talk about the level of wrestling for OAC and what you've seen. Because you were a high school coach at Hilliard-Davidson. Yeah. You guys had some really good guys. Did you yeah. coach Kirk now? No, I, he was uh, – I was at Kent when he – You were at Kent when he – okay. Talk so, about a good wrestler, though. Yeah, well, All-American. Tough guy, yeah. Really absolutely. good. But talk about what you've noticed about OAC and getting your kid involved in it at such a young age. Oh, uh, man, you know – Wrestling is a sport I think you got to dive in, and it's one of those things that are better to start young and get the feel for it. Um, obviously, we're really blessed. My son will go to Waterson, so we've got a great coaching staff with uh, Coach Tommy Rollins, Ross Thatcher. Um, just doesn't get much better than that. You know, that room is a special place, um, and we're very thankful for that opportunity. Sometimes Columbus people leave Columbus and go to college. Michigan's here today. Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to talk about Michigan? Or are you, are you, are, oh, yeah. Can your kid go to Michigan? My kid can go wherever he wants to go. So, Le'Veon Bell's a Groveport guy. He's a Groveport guy. He went to MSU, cool. right? Yes, he did. I mean, I hate to bring well, this stuff Eric up. Smith was a Michigan State guy, too. And, uh, okay. He was a year behind me, so he, uh, I've got a Michigan State connection. There. So, it's okay. It's okay. You go to Michigan or Michigan State? Wherever you want You don't go. burst into flames? Not at all. Where do you live now? Uh, we live in Hilliard. So, you do live in Hilliard? We do live in Hilliard. He yeah. will go to Watterson. He though, will right? go to Watterson, yes. Is Watterson about to make a run? I certainly hope so. I think, uh, I think that staff is putting all the... The pieces together i think we're doing it the right way and again I'm, I'm we feel blessed and very thankful to be a part of that community um i talked to big guys who are big athletic guys like yourself um how good is football you're a division one football player how good is football for re wrestling and wrestling for football it goes hand in hand i mean you know it's all about you know the hand fight bending your knees um they, they go hand in hand like i said my boy don't play football yet but that's obviously the plan um i'm a big believer in being a multi-sport athlete you know i I think a lot of people waste their time trying to specialize. And I don't know how much you get out of it um, by taking away opportunities. So, so we'll definitely be football wrestlers for sure. You played with some Hall of Famers at Kent State. Yeah. But uh, Josh Cribbs potentially. Josh Cribbs, yes. And then obviously Harrison. Harrison. Played right next to James Harrison. I just kind of stayed out of his way. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like seeing freak athletes like that at the college level? Oh, man, you know, it's funny because you don't realize who they are until 10 years later. You know, we all knew that j uh, Harrison was a really good football player. We just didn't know he was that good. Great. You know? So, it's yeah, it's, it's just funny to say, hey, this is a guy that you played next to. Um, you knew he was good, but, you know, that to see him now and, and see what he did in the Super Bowl, you know, the guy – Incredible specimen of a human. I, I'm sure you've seen some of his workout videos. I see Holy all the Instagram cow. posts. Yeah. Pushes this fork truck. <laughs> yeah. Take, left that fork <laughs> truck up. Yeah. yeah, something like, crazy. Tip it over. Yeah. Clean Without clean the forks, down. right? Flip it over. Down, um, yeah. Okay, give me the full circle finally. Who do you work for now? <laughs> I'm at Davy Tree now, you know, <laughs> the home of Kent, you know, so. Uh, so they're world headquarters. It's a, it's a, it's actually like a, like a Western Hemisphere company. Yeah. It's in yeah. North and South America, I yeah. believe. We've got, we're in Hawaii as well. We're all over the place. Largest tree care provider in Canada. So um, you, it's you, just funny. You yes. Go to Kent, you know, get a teaching degree, get out of teaching. And then, you know, I didn't know who, I didn't know who Davy Tree was. And then it's funny. I ended up back in Kent again, working for their corporate office. You so. lived right next to it in college. Right next to it. The Davy Institute's right by Roosevelt. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's our corporate office. Full circle. It's crazy, right? Yes. All right. Um, biggest thing you would say to a parent to get their kid into youth wrestling? Don't be afraid to jump in. Um, find a good group. 
find a good group of leaders and uh that, that's what i would say you know i think wrestling you know there's a lot of emotion when it comes to wrestling so to get your kid in the right place around the right minds that are all about you know raising the kids the right way push your kids to that um it's a great life it, it teaches life you know i think it's a really good sport to you know wrestling is life you know and you learn a lot a lot about life through wrestling i think so um don't be afraid to do it dive in is ross thatcher the best coach you've seen in like ohio i believe so yes we're, we're big fans of ross thatcher and we totally trust him um, not just with wrestling, but all the other lessons that he teaches as well. I'm a, I'm a big Ross Thatcher fan. So am I. That's why yeah. I brought him up. Yeah, he, he's the man. Tommy Remember? Rollins, big fan. Awesome, absolutely. And that's obviously the core nucleus of yes. what Watterson is. Yeah, and, and, you know, I'm so comfortable. I love being able to say that those guys coach my kid. You know, they're, uh, they're great people. They're great people first, and then they're great coaches second, and they let that be known, and, you know, they're just great people to trust your kid around, whether it's wrestling, whether it's life. We love them, and Hopefully we can stick around them for a long time. All right. You got anything else for me? Uh, go Eagles. Cruisers, Eagles. <laughs> All right. Hey, for thank Eagles. you. Wildcats? You used to be Wildcats. Wild how long yeah. were you a Wildcat? Oh, man. I coached football and wrestling there from 2006 till 2015. Wow. Ten years. Ten years, yep. All right. Thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys Appreciate moving forward. It. Thank you.